do 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 Hello everyone and welcome to a review of two new Magnetic 3x3s, the Fangshin Magnetic 3x3 and the Shengshao Mr. MV2. Let's start off with the Fangshin Magnetic 3x3 because it's more fun. At 799 this cube is a mountain of paradoxes. Out of the box, it's extremely loose, yet also somehow extremely slow. It's magnetic, but it locks up and it deforms. I had a thing this morning where I asked Damien, Hey, is this cube magnetic? That should probably not happen with a magnetic cube. It means the magnets are not serving their purpose. Also, in the sickly ironic spirit of not being a cube, the Fangshin Magnetic 3x3 has centers that jut out. Measured from edge to edge, it's one size. From center to center, it's another size. You can actually feel the center stick up if you just hold the cube. Shoutouts to Cubix for turning us all into paranoid skeptics. Now let's talk about the implications of this puzzle ending up in the hands of a beginner cuber. It's widely accepted that cubes for beginners should be beginner friendly. This means little need for drastic adjustments, decent performance out of the box, and absolutely no mechanical failures like corner twists, crazy lockups, and extreme deforming. Problems like these can be confusing for beginners. Unfortunately, these are all present on the Fangshin Magnetic 3x3. Now let's turn our attention to the Shangshao Mr. MV2, a stickered black budget cube that retails for $12.99. It also comes with extra springs, a cube stand, a high quality screwdriver, and extra stickers. Out of the box, this cube is dry and pretty stable. Corner cutting is fair and the cube doesn't have any obvious problems. We're super relieved that this one is actually a cube. Standards, right? If you pry open the center, you'll notice that the Mr. MV2 has an elasticity adjustment feature. Unfortunately, it's hard to tell what setting you're on. I think the best way to handle this is to reset the cube and count your adjustments one by one. We can't really expect a beginner to be excited about this though. On a side note, I think Shengshao's product naming scheme is absolutely brilliant. Calling the product Mr. M personifies an inanimate object, making it feel much more like a person. The effect of this is, it makes criticizing the product more emotionally difficult because you feel like you're insulting a person. You know, I can say pretty much all day, oh, I, I hate the Feng Shin Magnetic 3x3, I think it's terrible. You know, saying, I hate Mr. M and I think he's terrible, it makes me feel like I'm actually talking directly to a person and hating on him. Perhaps Shangshao did this on purpose to protect its products from negative reviews. We'll never know. Long story short, we're kind of happy that these companies are making new Magnetic 3x3s, but there's obviously a lot of work to be done before they can compete with strong cubes like the MoYu RS3M 2020 and the GE MS 3x3. The budget market is actually ruthlessly competitive, as manufacturers are pretty much expected to make an under $10 cube usable by professional speed cubers. If this is the pinnacle of 3x3 design by these companies, Fangshin should stick to making bananas. At least Shangshao has a great foothold on massive puzzles like the Eximinx and the 17x17. 17 17.